So I've been getting questions on how you teach sound mount. So I'm going to show you the sound mount for the OI sound. So here we have the sound mount. And when we look at a sound mount, this is the beginning of a word, this is the middle, that is the end. So when I'm teaching the OI sound, I will have my students map out the sounds they hear with words where they hear the OI sound. So for example, in the word boil, let's look at the word boil. I would say, okay, let's tap that word out. Ready? B oi, o. How many sounds do we hear? We heard three sounds. I would map out the sounds one, two, three. I would say, okay, what is that first sound? B, that b sound. Then I would go to the ending and I would say, what's that ending sound we hear? And we would hear, ooh. We know that's L. And I would say, okay, let's use our sound mount now. Do, these are the two different ways that we see the OI sound, OI and OY. OI is most commonly seen in the middle of words, and OY is at the end. Do you think OI or OY would go in our middle sound? And this would be where we use OI. Then, for example, I would say, okay, how about we try the word soy? Let's tap out the word soy. Ready? S OI. We have two sounds. <clears throat> My very first sound in that case is the s. Then we would look at these two patterns where we see OI most commonly in the middle and OI at the end most commonly. So in this case, it would be OI.